It was, it was a bit of a foreign uh, idea when I got the invitation. But having heard what was being said and the way it has been described, it is simple. You're talking about the mountains have an influence on the valleys. The valleys have an influence on the river flows. The river flows have an influence on, on, on the quality of, 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 of water that the people are having, et cetera, et cetera. So all these things must be seen in, in, a, in an interconnected and inter, in, integrated way. We need approaches that will sustain. And by su being sustainable means that all these things are planned in harmony, in concert with each other, and having the farmer being listened to, having the person, the individual, the individual organizations on the ground being listened to, because they have the experience, they have the knowledge. We have to respect that as leadership. We should not have the arrogance of dictating what we think that they, should, they, they, are, they are wanting or needing. Well, I think one of the key messages uh, coming from, from, from the continent, as well as what has happened in the last couple of days, governance in the African context is a major bottleneck because governments, even individual governments, in Lesotho, in the region, in the continent, were not talking to each other. Ministries, Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, Fisheries, whatever, we are doing things in silos, let alone doing them collectively within the region. So it is extremely important that for us to continue to have a meaningful impact on the global stage, we need to be talking to each other long before we come to the conferences as a continent. Science equally needs to step out of the lab. Scientists, university professors, need to step out of the universities and really put what they've been researching into some tangible, practical approaches where a farmer, where a politician can digest and make a meaningful contribution to what research is saying. Because the research is very important, but then that has to be translated into something simple, tangible, and edible for an individual, somebody walking in the streets of Lagos, in the streets of Maseru, in the streets of Warsaw. Otherwise, it will become an it will continue to, to be a purely academic exercise, which does not inform how then policy is formulated. Because without that information, the policymaker also needs to be mindful that they are not arrogant in how then, because having been elected does not mean that you are the beginning and end of knowledge. You need to be wide open with your eyes. You have to have your ears on the ground all the time, listening to the individual, listening to the, the criticism, listening to the advice. You are there to synthesize all that information as a policymaker and make sound policy that has a long-term duration.